Previously, we talked with Jamie and Bean about homeschooling while cruising. If you missed it, be sure to check it out. The socialization, because, right. you know, so much, I remember a lot of socialization when I went to school, and some of it was good, some of it was utterly the worst experiences I've had in my life. Yeah. And I think your, your kids are having a very, very different experience. How do yeah. you see, yeah. like, them, how does it work? Right. I think just even homeschoolers get that, whether they're, you know, cruising kids or not. Um, I think that, well, there's two sides of the coin, right? They miss out on the socialization of things like teen sports and getting to work with the theater group on a big production and stuff like that. We just can't replicate those. Um, we do some pretty cool cruising level versions of it, like when they wrote the script, built the set, made the costumes, and presented to, I don't know, 25 cruisers a full-on production of The Wizard of Oz. That was pretty amazing. That's cool. On a beach in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they don't get to work with a drama professional. They don't get to uh, work with voice coaches in a chorus. They don't get things like that, right? So there's some stuff that they clearly miss. But as far as peer socialization goes, I think most peer socialization in the States is just crap. And I figure what we're doing is saving our kids from it, honestly. Um, they don't care about being stuck in front of screens. Niall encountered this when he was in Australia, um, where he just he was shocked. He asked one of the kids he was uh, friends with in, in class how many TVs they had in their house. He couldn't believe it. <laughs> and, like everybody had one. Yeah, right? and everyone's got one in their bedroom. Time. And I know that's not that unusual, but it's just like there was this fascination with the screen. The kids were always trying to sneak their phones into class, and mm -hmm. I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of really messed up priorities, um, and we get to leave a lot of that stuff behind. Um, there's a whole different level of socialization because mm -hmm. there's a lot of kid boats, so you guys tend to stick around. That's right. And then there's other like crazy people that you meet, like the guy next to you could be a surgeon or right. a PhD in marine or biology or a stuntman who does Will Ferrell's double two boats down. Or also very important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like that's <laughs> he does, yeah. Oh, um, that guy. Yes. Does Will Ferrell do stunts? Um, no, this guy does it for him. <laughs> you've seen him hanging on the back of the sleigh in Elf. We all just watched that, right? Really? That was Mark. Oh, yeah. And he's a cruiser. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. There's your, there's your acting. Yeah, yeah. You're acting. <laughs> you talk about like not being with like a drama professor or something like that. Right. It's like, but the kids are around people yeah, like that. Yeah, but they'll teach you how to drive a car really fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like get a marine biology lesson, like Brian yeah. said, or yeah, uh, mm -hmm. which which we've done with the marine biology professor. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that it's it's a different experience. Um, you know, there there are certainly times when it's nice to have a bunch of peers around that um, things aren't perfect and you got to work it out, and that's part of life and life lessons. And sometimes it's not easy, and they they don't get it in the same way, but they still do do get it because there's plenty of other kids around, um, and they also have to learn skills like having a conversation with an adult who's not a family member mm -hmm. because we have other cruising adults around quite often and they can talk to them or or if the nearest cruising kid is um, an eight-year-old in Nile 16 he can still talk to this kid and he doesn't just look it down at him as some little peon mm -hmm. um, you, yeah, you, you work with who's around you right the kids don't get slotted into gender and age peer groups instead they can be friends with all sorts of a range, and that's part of being an adult too, right? I mean, yeah. I think that's a life well, skill in yeah. a way. Yeah. It's a good part of it, right? <laughs> Although, interestingly, in this in the Indian Ocean crossing, there was a uh, six, seven, eight different cruising boats with kids, and there just happened to be uh, a, a parody between the older boys and the middle-aged girls, and then the younger girls that. Okay, we've got them this, and it and it worked out where they had pretty equal peers in a way. Which means plus or minus probably two or three years still in a, in a. But but yeah, relatively close. Yeah. And and they did fall a little bit into the older boys kind of hung out together, and mm -hmm. the and the the younger teen girls tended to hang out together, which was fine, and it it more replicated what a typical high school experience is like in a way. They would also do group stuff together, like we would be but, having a barbecue on the beach somewhere in Maldives. And the kids from age, you know, nine on up 
would go like you know 50 60 feet down the beach and make another fire <laughs> and have their fire with ours uh, but they but did it as, as a broader yeah. kid group yeah, so group. so it, it broke out of yeah. uh, this little uh, mini mold that they were i they think were the in. thing with socializing as a cruising family uh, with other cruising families i mean other kids for your kids to hang out with is really really important though and and the thing to call out is that you have to make an effort as a parent to be around other boats with kids. You yeah, can't just go wherever the heck you want to go. And we put a fair bit of effort into that. And there are boats that don't, and they're by themselves a lot because they don't anticipate and plan and coordinate with other boats with kids. And that can really suck for the kids, frankly. And we know boats who have stopped cruising because their kids were lonely and needed yeah. other kids. Um, it also helps that we've got three kids. It's um, the families with uh, kids that don't have someone, a, a sibling close enough in age for them to play together with that also struggle. Uh, there's a boat here, awesome family, they've got a teen boy and they've got a, a very, very little girl. So it's kind of like having two only kids in a way because they were never going to really do anything together except he might babysit her once in a while. Um, and that's it's hard, like me and right? Brady, I <laughs> he babysits me all the time. It works out really good for us. Yeah, yeah. Let me hold your hair back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he homeschools now the now shit out of me. <laughs> but he's, it's, you know, so the little girl, who's just the cutest, you know, super social little thing, she would like to be around other little girls. And the teen boy would kind of like to be around teen boys, but they actually picked a path that meant, um, just based on their track, that they've not been around other kids for most of the last year until they got here. Do you see any differences because of that? Well, I just think it, just it, it makes they, happier they want kids. It, they crave it, they, they want have, that interaction. Yeah. With but but one, thing, one thing people, I think, imagine is that um, the lack of socialization is that, that, are, that there are no other kid boats, or often they think that there are no other boats around, that we're out in an island and we're by ourselves. And it is really so far from reality, as you guys quite, quite well know. And, um, and if you seek out other boats and you have friends, it's easy to be social every day of the week. You, you have yeah. dinners together, you do beach events, you go snorkeling together. Mm -hmm. it's, it's far more social than conventional life mm -hmm. um, in, in, a, in a very meaningful way. Yeah, so it's, it's, um, it is in reality the opposite of um, antisocial. Yeah, like the first real thing when I thought about it is when we were crossing the Pacific years ago and there was the, the SSB net, like the, you know, the right. cruiser's uh -huh. net, and then there was like the kids' cruiser's net, and right. they got on and they did the whole cruiser's net, and I was <laughs> like, you know, okay, yeah. I would be scared to get on and talk to like I don't know how many people on the net and like yeah. take everybody's GPS coordinates and check right. them in. And I was yeah. really impressed by that. Yeah. You know, I yeah. I thought that was pretty. Nile cool. was ten years old. He ran a health and welfare on a boat in distress in Mexico on the night net. Mm. Yeah, totally impressed <laughs> us. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's it's hard to describe and explain. But um, the kids interact with a broad range of people, all backgrounds, yeah. all ages. And, and they learn to do this naturally, and, um, and they, they get socializing skills. They, they grow with it. Up next, we talk with Jamie and Bean about what sort of a crew cruising kids can be.